Dr. Scott Jensen is taking action against the state. He filed two lawsuits today alleging the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice and the Attorney General Keith Ellison violated his right to free speech. Chief Political Reporter Tom Hauser is here with the lawsuits and what Jensen's alleging. Tom? Yeah, Kevin, Dr. Scott Jensen filed one suit in federal court against the Board of Medical Practice and he filed another in district court against the Attorney General. Both suits claim they engaged in politically motivated investigations of Jensen. Why was I sitting before the Board of Medical Practice today? Over the past couple years, Dr. Scott Jensen posted complaints on social media about how he was being treated by the Minnesota Board of Medical Practice. This is all about raw politics. This is about raw power. Jensen claims he was unfairly targeted by the board for public comments he made during the pandemic while serving in the state Senate and while running for governor. Now he's filing suit. The federal lawsuit against the Board of Medical Practice says the board launched five investigations comprised of 18 complaints. He says this came after he engaged in protected political speech related to COVID-19. Jensen says every complaint and investigation litigated by the BMP concerned public statements in one form or another, and none of the complaints involved patient care or treatment. Not one of them that I'm aware of involved a patient who received a health care service from me. Not one of them represented that critical nexus between a, ph a physician and a patient. And Jensen says all of the cases involved his exercise of free speech regarding COVID lockdowns, vaccines, COVID death certificates, and medical treatments. Speech, he says, should be outside the scope of the Board of Medical Practice. If you dared to challenge the narrative that was out there, you were fair game. In a separate state lawsuit, Jensen accuses Attorney General Keith Ellison of assisting the board with, quote, politically motivated investigations into Jensen's medical license. His attorneys say Dr. Jensen believes Ellison's office was the driving force behind the investigations to Dr. Jensen's personal, professional, and political detriment. These are not complicated lawsuits. It's clear what was done. He was investigated on the basis of speech alone and not on the basis of the practice of medicine. Now, in response to the lawsuit, a spokesman for Attorney General Ellison told Five Eyewitness News they provided Jensen with nearly 1,800 documents and only withheld data allowed by law. He says the lawsuit is, quote, without merit and the office will respond fully in court. No response today from the Board of Medical Practice. Jensen is seeking damages and attorney's fees in both cases. Kevin. Tom Hauser reporting.